I was at the Lego store on Black Friday and I broke. I bought some things that I hadn't really intended on buying because Lego had already reduced the retail price of them down to $17. And on top of that, they had another 20% off, bringing the complete total price for each down to under $14 for the Batman and the Joker brick sketches. The Batman set 40386 and the Joker set 40428. Why are they so far away set number wise? I don't know. The Batman includes 115 pieces and the Joker includes 170 pieces. So if you're looking strictly for price for piece, I guess the Joker is the way to go. As far as packaging for these two models, I find it a little bit odd that they don't use the same color. Obviously purple does suit the Joker, but does dark blue really suit Batman? I feel like black would be better or at least very, very dark gray. I only work in black and sometimes very, very dark gray. We're gonna open these up and take a look at what each set is gonna be getting you for your $13.60, but $17 is probably what you're gonna end up paying as far as retail price goes. Now the unboxing experience for these should be pretty standard. You're not gonna get anything special out of these. I've already gotten the Star Wars ones and I actually wasn't planning on buying these, like I said, but again, it was kind of too good of a price to pass up for me at under $14. It just felt like the right price for these versus the original. When these originally came out, back in the summer, they were retailing for $20, which was expensive. So seeing them reduce the price because they probably aren't selling well makes a lot of sense to me. So you can see both builds have separate setups. It's kind of weird that the bricks in the Joker's case come in a bag, but in the Batman's case, they don't. Like little things like that can vary between sets and it's kind of interesting, but I'm gonna build these up and we'll take a look at the finished product. The finalized versions of these brick sketches look pretty nice. The Batman with very, very sharp and deliberate straight edges is a very interesting look and then of course on the other hand you have the joker which has a much more v-shaped look to the face you can see a huge difference there in just the shaping of these guys now one of my favorite aspects of brick sketches is kind of the way that they'll bleed off the canvas you can see in this case batman has slight bits of black that go over the top which is nice and then in the joker's case you've got a little bit of his green hair there going off the top and that's just nice it bleeds off the canvas it's something you don't see on on a lot of like regular art for Lego stuff or like the mosaics, for example. But with the brick sketches, they get a little bit off the canvas and I think that looks really nice. Now, Batman with his black and yellow scheme is the perfect color scheme and they do a pretty spot on job recreating Batman with a bit of artistic funk, which is what you kind of want from something like this. You're not going for a perfect picture of Batman. If you wanted that, you would buy a perfect picture of Batman. The Joker is stylized quite a bit as well. Looks very cartoonish and I love the way his eyes look. They actually look pretty menacing depending on which angle you look at and they are just small dots on a circular tile so that works out pretty well his smile is pretty nice as well with nice teeth and of course the bow tie and his purple suit shown off at the bottom now both builds will of course come with a little thing to stand the frame up and you can also push it on in to lay it down or if you just want it flat up against a wall like that you can certainly do so with either of them that's not going to be a problem in either case the thing with the joker is though the purple jacket does have little pieces that kind of go down below the bottom of the canvas so it actually ends up at a slight angle and you can see much easier with the batman next to it that it is slightly leaning back so i don't find that to be ideal for the joker if you wanted to stand it up straight but again you just drop down a little stand piece and you're going to be perfectly fine there with both of them. These really make for great display pieces on a desk and they certainly convey the subject matter really well. You know that that's the Joker and you know that that's Batman and that's what really matters with something like this. They'll fit perfectly onto a larger display shelf for sure because they are pretty small in stature and in space as far as like the table space or desk space or uh, shelf space you'll need to actually display them and you could also potentially modify it or something to hang it on a wall if you really wanted to do that but it does feel a little bit small for that particular use do the joker's eyes follow you that's a that's a little bit of an effect there, huh? Don't pay more than you have to for these. These are nice, but they are not $20 nice like Lego originally tried to sell them for, and they are maybe $17 nice like Lego is currently selling them for, but ultimately $13.59 is the price I would go for, and that's when Lego puts them at 20% off on sale. So if you can find them for that, that's the way to go. These are currently not sold at any other retailer, so you're really beholden to Lego and their particular sales, which admittedly don't happen often so let me know what you think about these in the comments section below if you're new to channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one peace out